All right, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do live view um, on the test NVR, IC real-time test NVR that we are working on right now. Um, so right now I'm on the devices tab, and you can get there by coming to the, this is the main menu, clicking devices, and you can see all your different devices. Um, the one that we're gonna be working on today is simply this one right here. As you can see, I am connected to it. I'm gonna manually log out. Okay, so if for whatever reason you launch this program and it's grayed out or what have you, um, or maybe you've had this open for an X amount of time and, uh, and it and eventually logged you out for whatever reason, you can come right here, hit manually log in, and you can do so. Okay, so now in this video we're going to get to the live view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this tab brings me back to the main menu and then right here I can click I can select live view um, so I got multiple devices here as you can see the only one that's not that doesn't have this little red with the X going through it is this test one right here and I can click this little arrow and it will show me all the different cameras that are connected to it okay a um, couple different ways that you can bring up the cameras as you can see there's nothing there right now I can double click this and then it will automatically uh, get the views of the cameras. And as you can see, I got a split screen here of four boxes, so four cameras. And then down here, it says one page one of two. So if I hit that little arrow, then it will bring me to the next um, one. So there's the fifth camera. Okay. Um, over here, you have custom views. Oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, three by three. So that'll show you nine cameras. That's 16, that'd be four by four. And then this 36 is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six by six. So um, this one is actually the custom where you can have these different custom split views. Okay, so now I got one big picture and then, or one big uh, view of a camera. And then I have these other ones here. Um, you can actually drag it over if you wanted a different camera to be the kind of center of attention. Um, and you can also just double click on that camera and double click off to bring it back to the to the split view. Up here, you have you can um, hit record and it will record to the to the NVR. You can take a snapshot. If this if these had audio capabilities such as a microphone and speakers, you'd be able to. Um, maybe hear or talk to the other person um, instant replay kind of just shows you like a quick playback if you would um, shut that off and this right here another important feature is how you zoom okay so I can click that and now I can make a box around whatever it is that I want to zoom in on okay and then you can Click that off and it will bring you back to your normal view. Some other features over here is you can right click and I can change the name of the camera. So right here I can type shop or back warehouse. Okay. And then it will actually change the name of the camera. As you can see here, all I did was double click back on it and it changed the name. Okay. All right, so I'm going to change that back. Hit enter, and there now it changed again. Okay, so that's how you do live view. That's how you can do um, uh, zoom in, how you can do any type of instant replay, uh, create a snapshot, and what have you. So um, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please comment below or definitely reach out. Uh, we're always here to help. Thanks. Oh, and like and subscribe to this channel because we're always sending out useful information in the IT world of uh, security cameras, telecommunications, and all that sort of thing. So again, thanks for watching.